Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girlfriend who will back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. If there's anything that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad um, to react to it. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel. Keep liking, sharing, watching. We're very, very grateful. I hope you guys are doing all right, and may you stay blessed. If you want to interact with us you can follow us on instagram called funny and jesse and if you want to talk to me you can follow me on safani l and i'll be more than glad to respond like i said if there's anything that you guys want us to react to let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below and i'll be more than glad to react to it a big shout out to the person that suggested this today i'm going to be reacting to how muhammad was buried so without wasting time let's get into the video Right? And then later on, Fatima radiallahu anha told Aisha radiallahu anha, remember what you asked, remember what you asked me? And she said yes. So she shared with Aisha what the Prophet Sallallahu told her for the very last time. These two have been through so much together, right? There, this was Khadija's, a piece of Khadija and the piece of the Prophet ﷺ. Bidding farewell, and the Prophet ﷺ is leaving this world, and Fatima has lost her mom, lost her sisters, lost everybody, right? It's, now it's the Prophet ﷺ, and this is her, her father, but everything to her. And she said that the first time the Prophet ﷺ called me down, my father told me that I'm not going to live past this. This is it, right? So I'm going to die. And that was something that was so inconceivable to so many people. Even though it says in the Quran, in the Kamiyat, you will die. And they will die as well. You're a human being. You will. But the thought of the Prophet ﷺ dying, he was so big in their eyes. They couldn't imagine his death. They just could not conceive of the possibility, even though they knew it's in the Quran twice, right? in mata aw qutil. If he dies or if he's killed, right? I mean, it's in the Quran. But when when she when he told her that I'm not going to live past this, Fatima radiallahu anha started to weep immediately. Second time, the Prophet says, "Come back," and he tells her, "You will be the first one to die after me." That's a strange thing to make someone laugh. <laughs> a 27-year-old young mother. She's only 27, by the way. Young woman. And the Prophet ﷺ tells her, you're the first one that will die after me and join me. That's the part that makes her happy. That I'm about to leave, but you're coming too. You're not sick, nothing's wrong with you. I'm not praying against you, but the Prophet ﷺ is speaking obviously when my yantiqa an al-hawa, he doesn't speak from a place of vanity or from a place of desire. The Prophet ﷺ speaks out of divine revelation. You're gonna die after me. And that caused Fatima to laugh. That's how much she loved her father, and that's how much she wanted to be with her father, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And when the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam died, now how did they know that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam died? This is a very human story at this point. Aisha radiallahu anha screamed when the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam died in her lap when Jibril came in. And the Prophet ﷺ lit up and he raised his hand to the sky and he said, Rafiq al-A'la, bar Rafiq al-A'la, I choose the companionship of the Most High. And those are the last words of the Prophet ﷺ, I choose the companionship of the Most High. And his hand fell, Aisha radiallahu anha screamed. And the first person to hear it was Fatima because she was sitting in the house right next door. And when Fatima radiallahu anha heard that, this is what she responded with. She said, Ya abata, min rabbihi ma adna. Ya abata, Beautiful words, powerful words. Said, Ya Abata, O oh my dear father, how close you are now to your Lord. Min Rabbihi ma'atana, how close you are now to your Lord. Ya Abata, ila Jibreel O oh my dear father, to Gabriel, to Jibreel, we announce your death. Ya Abata, Jannatul Firdosi ma'wa. Oh my dear father, Jannat al-Firdaus is now your abode. The highest garden in paradise is now your abode. Those were the words of Fatima. Ali radiallahu anhu was stunned. He didn't say a word for days. 
Ali could not speak after the death of the Prophet People process differently, right? Ali radiallahu anhu was so eloquent, couldn't find a word to utter in the immediate aftermath of the death of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Um, Anas radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he said that uh, when we buried the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as, I was, uh, as we finished burying him, Fatima was standing behind us when we buried the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And she asked the Sahaba, how could you, how did you bring yourselves to put dirt on my father's face? This is emo- this is human coming, you know, the humanity coming out, the emotion coming out. But how could you put dirt on the face of the Prophet ﷺ? How could you bury him? Like, how did you come? How could you do that? How did you find the ability to do that? And Anas radiallahu ta'ala anhu says that I said to her, Wallahi ankarna qulubana. Said that I swear by Allah, the only way we were able to do it was to deny our hearts, which means we numbed ourselves. We had to, we had to be robotic to be able to place the Prophet in the ground and to put dirt on the Prophet and bury him in the ground. Anas anhu says, she looked at me, she started crying, she turned away and she left. She could not perceive or, or, or come to terms with what was happening or, or the sadness of it. And she really did not have the desire to live after his death, sallallahu alayhi wasallam. I mean, it's very clear. It's not just the Prophet sallallahu alayhi telling her. And there are many things to talk about here. You know, you see people that love each other, like sometimes elderly, one person, uh, you know, is, is elderly and dies, and then quickly after the, the spouse dies. Sometimes you find that type of relationship that's very, very different. Allahu alam. Allah knows best. <laughs> The entire video was just very, very interesting. I mean, we, like I said, death should be celebrated and it shouldn't be looked at as a bad thing because people are going to a better place. But we're humans and it affects us one way or another and we all react in different ways. Sometimes we don't want to part or we're not ready to part ways with our loved ones, but it's God's will that they leave us. It's God's will that we feel that emptiness so that we can maybe replace it with God or something or maybe just see the positivity in whatever is happening. And it just really depends on you and I to just see things in a better way. Like I said, sometimes it can be a lesson that we're supposed to learn from that. Maybe just from them personally or from them uh, and how they live their life. It's really, 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 really up to us. I don't know what you guys think and um there's something else i wanted to say but i've forgotten let me know what you think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video